the Bible and GPS coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. It's a good morning for coffee. Every morning's a good morning for coffee, especially when it's Headbangers Brew. Mm -hmm. It's our coffee and it's the best, let me just tell you. And it proceeds for the sales go to our homeless friends and you can get that in our mugs and t-shirts and all kinds of swag right here. We are metal, we are family.com. Dear Pastor Bob, I love Jesus very much, but the truth is I don't read the Bible very much. Neither do most of my Christian friends. Isn't it true that since the Holy Spirit lives inside of us, that he will teach us even if we don't read? No, it's not true. <laughs> the Bible says that, that the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth but you need to begin to take in the truth. And let's talk about this. You know, the Bible is an important thing. And when you don't read it, it's like wandering around trying to find where you're going without a street map. You're not gonna find it. It just isn't gonna be there. And you may end up miles or hundreds of miles away and still looking for that same place. But with the guide, with the street map, with GPS on your iPhone, whatever, you're gonna find it and you're gonna know exactly where you're going and that's what the Bible is for. Let's go to the Bible itself, James chapter one, verse 23. It's where we'll start. And it says, for if anyone only listens to the word without obeying it and doing and being a doer of it, He's like a man who looks carefully at his own natural face in the mirror. For he thoughtfully observes himself and then goes off and promptly forgets what he was like. But he who looks carefully into the faultless law of liberty and is careful and faithful to it and preserves in looking into it, being not a heedless listener who forgets, but an active doer who obeys, he shall be blessed in his doing and his life of obedience. So that's what it's saying. It's like looking into a mirror and forgetting what you look like after you walk away. When you just hear something, you don't retain most of it just a small percentage. When you read it, when you study it, when you look into it, that's when you do. And, uh, and that's what it's all about, folks. And that's what brings liberty. It's the law of liberty. It's the law of freedom. It's the law of peace. Let's go to one more scripture. It's found in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. And it says, but grow in grace grace, undeserved favor, spiritual strength, and in recognition and knowledge and understanding of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. To him be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity, amen, which means so be it. So be it, that's what amen means. So, but this is the command. Grow in grace, undeserved favor, spiritual strength, and in recognition, knowledge, and understanding of Jesus Christ. Learn how to recognize him. Now, that's an important thing, folks, because there are a whole lot of Christians who say, I love the Lord, and you ask them anything about him, and they don't know. It's like somebody getting married and say, so... Tell me what my wife looks like, <laughs> you know, or, or, um, so what was your name again? Yeah, but I'm married, so it's okay. It's not okay. 
And you know, before you get married, before you have any kind of a deep relationship, you get to know the person. You ask a lot of questions, you know who they are. And I have friends that I've had for, well, five decades now. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. Five decades. Or longer, actually. Some longer. And <clears throat> and they're still good friends. And we still talk all the time. And I know them very well. And I always say they know me very well. And they like me anyway. <laughs> but it's true. And after a while, you get to know them very well. You walk with them. You don't have to ask them questions that you would ask somebody when you're first getting to know them. We're a lot farther along than that. In fact, I can ask them a question and I can pretty well know how they're going to answer it just because I know them. But you can't do that if you don't know who Jesus Christ is. If you have basic facts, you have enough to accept him as your Lord and Savior and, and become a Christian, but it may not go past that. It may not go past the dating stage into the marriage stage. Well, we're married biblically and we're married spiritually and eternally. But how about emotionally and mentally and those things that also count? So he says, grow in recognition, recognize him, know who he is. When he's speaking, learn how to recognize his voice. In knowledge, why is that important? Because if I don't know how he is, I don't know what the Christian life is all about. And I don't know how to act and react in many situations. But recognition, knowledge, and understanding. Now, there's a lot of people that say, well, I just don't read the Bible because I don't understand it. And you know that there's a lot of ways to get around that. Get a, get a translation that you do understand a little better or a commentary that might help, or, or what we're doing right here, watching and listening to, you know, and getting into the word with somebody else's help or whatever it is. <clears throat> but understanding what it's all about, because the deeper the understanding, the deeper the growth. So this is it. Recognition, knowledge, and understanding. And to him be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. So, folks, it's important that you have this roadmap, this roadmap, the Bible. It's important that you use it, that you grow with it. And uh, it's not an option. It's the only way to really get to know Jesus Christ. And as you read it, the Holy Spirit will guide you into all of its truth. That's the way it works. Well, folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.